Before I show you the right way to learn Linux in 2026, I need to tell you about the worst 48 hours of my Linux journey. When I started learning Linux in 2025, I thought I'd become a pro overnight, but I did everything wrong. I went straight for Arch Linux because some Reddit thread said real programmers use Arch. I spent 14 hours watching a guy compile software from scratch. Then I downloaded a 200 command cheat sheet and thought I'd memorize my way to mastery. Day one, I broke my system trying to customize something I didn't understand. Day two, I copy-pasted a script from a form. My Wi-Fi stopped working. Day three, gave up and reinstalled Windows. Here's what nobody told me. I was doing everything wrong, and I'm going to make sure you don't make the same mistakes. Six months later, I tried again, but this time I did it differently. I started with the basics. I focused on understanding, not memorizing, and within three weeks, something clicked. And now Linux is my daily driver. I deploy cloud servers. I automate workflows. I actually understand what's happening under the hood. The difference wasn't talent, it was approach. And in 2026, with AI infrastructure exploding and Linux powering nearly 50% of all cloud workloads, knowing the right approach isn't just helpful, it's career defining. So let me walk you through what actually works. Linux isn't a hobby anymore, it's infrastructure. When 78% of developers worldwide use Linux as their primary or secondary OS, and every single one of the world's top 500 supercomputers runs on Linux, we're talking about a fundamental skill. The Linux Foundation just launched the Agentic AI Foundation in 2026, integrating cutting-edge AI tools directly into Linux workflows. Most of the big AI models you hear about, the ones running in the cloud, are actually running on Linux servers. And when companies build machine learning systems, process huge amounts of data, or train AI models, they usually do that on Linux too. The same goes for DevOps. The tools that developers use to deploy apps, manage servers, and automate workflows are mostly built around Linux. The market numbers tell the story. Linux is projected to grow from $22 billion in 2024 to nearly $100 billion by 2032. That's not just growth, that's transformation. And if you're not learning Linux now, you're missing the wave. Okay, so here's what I wish someone had told me on day one. Step one, and choose the right distribution. Forget Arch. Forget Gen 2. Start with Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or Fedora. These distros are beginner-friendly, install in minutes, and actually work out of the box. Install it in a virtual machine first, play around, break things without consequences. That's how you build confidence. Step two, learn fundamentals, not commands. Don't memorize. Understand and use linuxjourney.com. It's free, gamified, and teaches you what actually matters. What a shell is, how the file system works, basic navigation. You'll learn by doing, not by cramming. Step three, practice with real challenges. Once you've got basics down, head to Over the Wire's Bandit War game. It's like a puzzle game where each level forces you to use Linux commands in real scenarios. You SSH into a server and solve challenges. The UI looks ancient, but it teaches better than any tutorial because you're solving actual problems. Step four, build your safety net. Two commands will save your life, man and TLDR. When you're stuck, type man, followed by the command to read the full manual. Too overwhelming? Use TLDR for quick summaries with practical examples. Real Linux professionals don't memorize everything. They know where to find answers fast. That's the actual skill. Let me give you the updates that matter right now. First, hardware compatibility is solved. Modern Linux distributions detect hardware automatically, install drivers seamlessly, and connect to Wi-Fi on the first try. The old struggles? They're basically gone. Second, AI integration is real. AI-powered debugging, machine learning informed system optimization, and intelligent terminal assistance are now built into major distros. Linux isn't just keeping up with AI, it's powering it. Third, adoption is accelerating everywhere. Denmark moved 30,000 government computers from Microsoft to Linux. Germany is saving 15 million euros annually with the same switch. Steam Deck brought gaming to Linux. Desktop market share hit 4.7% globally in 2025, and that's a 70% increase. Fourth, the ecosystem is maturing fast. Rust is being integrated into the Linux kernel for better memory safety. Wayland is replacing old display servers. Cloud native tools are standard. This isn't your 2025 Linux anymore. The bottom line? Learning Linux in 2026 means you're learning the foundation of modern computing right as it's becoming a mainstream. So let's break down a practical learning roadmap. Week 1 is your foundation. Install Ubuntu or Linux Mint in VirtualBox. Spend 30 minutes daily just exploring. Open the terminal, navigate folders, create files, delete files, get comfortable with the environment. Week 2 is your structured learning. Work through linuxjourney.com systematically. Focus on understanding concepts, not memorizing syntax. The file system, permissions, processes, these are the building blocks. Week three is your real, real challenge. Start over the wires bandit war game. Solve one level per day. You'll use commands and context, which is how they actually stick, 
Week four, build projects. This is where it clicks. Set up a personal web server, automate a backup script, configure a firewall, build something real. When you solve actual problems, you remember the solutions. Consistency beats intensity. 30 minutes daily is better than five hours on weekends. Touch the terminal every single day. Learning Linux isn't about becoming a terminal wizard overnight. It's about building a skill that compounds over time. I wasted 48 hours doing it wrong. You don't have to. Start simple, stay consistent, your future self will thank you.